Tate, seemingly every year in the NCAA tournament, a handful of guys will pop up that no one saw coming, that, that they become stars. It becomes their tournament. Luke Hancock mm-hmm. in 2013 comes to yep. mind what he did yep. in the national championship game, wins the most outstanding player. Um, it, it, it happens every single tournament. And uh, we're here to figure out who are the candidates for to, – to, what are we calling this? Bracket breakout guys? I think it's our bracket breakout guys or bracket, bracket breakout stars or, you know, whatever – the bracket busters, whatever terminology you want to use. But in general, guys like, you know, like you said, a Luke Hancock or maybe even like a Paul Jesperson, a guy who hits like mm-hmm. a half-court shot, has this moment in time, goes crazy. Thomas Wolf a few years ago from the Lumberjacks, you know, Stephen F. Austin, you know, one of those – That's right. We're, we're, we're trying to come up with guys that maybe uh, people don't – think of when they think of the teams that these guys play on but we believe Mm -hmm. that these guys are going to be talked about at some point during this tournament that's Mm -hmm. pretty much it right Mm -hmm. so some under the radar guys that are that are primed to explode uh that i think that's it i think we set it up so let's dive Mm -hmm. into it who uh we're, we're doing our top three. Who, who is number three on your list? Yeah, number three on my list. And the mid-major guys, I, I can take the stars of those teams, right? Because, you know, America doesn't know who they are. So number one on my list, Isaiah Miller of UNCG, a.k.a. Miller Time. Uh, he's the only player in the field that takes a higher percentage of his team shots than Travion Williams for Purdue. He is a guy that doesn't take three-pointers, only taking 47 on the season. Going to drive to the basket. Going to take a lot of shots. Going to be a guy to watch. I'm scared FSU is going to be able to, uh, you know, kind of keep him from doing what he wants to do with this game. But he's going to give a, give a, a, you know, a Herculean effort of some sort. And Wes Miller, uh, one of my favorite coaches. So it's Miller time with UNCG number one pick. Yeah, uh, Isaiah Miller. Yeah, I don't know if UNCG's got enough to pull the upset, but I do know that Isaiah Miller is going to be swinging for the fences. Yes, you're, sure. you're going to know his name in that game. He's going to go for it, and he, he's he's going to get his, and it's going to be fun to watch. So that, that that's a great pick. Uh, my my uh, uh, standards, my criteria was I I looked at the the leading scores for every team, and I eliminated the you top threw three. Away. I ta- yes. I eliminated the top three scores of every team, and okay. then I said whoever's left. Those are guys I'm looking at to have at least one big game, one big moment, one big play that's going to swing everything for their team. Uh, So number three for me is Shondi Brown of Michigan. Wow. um, I might be a little biased pick because he absolutely torched Ohio State the first time (laughs) they played. He comes in and just throwing flames left and right. But uh, with Isaiah Livers hurt, Tate, and and we believe that he's not going to play his seasons over, and unfortunately it looks like his career at Michigan might be over. Um, Shawnee Brown's going to get more opportunities. He's certainly capable. I saw it first day in yes. that game in Columbus, but uh, he's he's uh, he's averaging like eight points a game, shooting forty percent from the three point line. Michigan's going to need him to step up, and and if they're going to be as good as they've been all season, um, and and I think I think all the stars have aligned where Shawnee Brown is not going to be the best player in any one of these games for Michigan, but mm-hmm. he's going to have a stretch. He's going to have a stretch where defenses are focused on Hunter Dickinson, where they're focused on Franz Wagner. Maybe Eli Brooks gets hot, and they're like, we got to shut him down. And Shawnee Brown's suddenly going to be like, you forgot about me. Yep. Wop, 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 wop. <laughs> yes, yes. What can Shawnee Brown do for you? That is yep. the, going to be the sentiment for Michigan fans. I like that pick a lot. Wake Forest transfer. And a guy who he wanted to be in the tournament. That was the reason he went to Michigan. Yep. So this is his moment. This is his first like NCAA that. tournament. He's excited to – He's there's got to be something to that. And he's a senior, so this will be his last NCAA tournament. <laughs> so there you go. This is this yes. is one shot. So you're he, saying it's one shot, one shining moment. I one like opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. <laughs> one moment. <laughs> All right, uh, my, my number two pick is easy. Uh, I think at home, if you if you watched our bracket show, you probably saw a little bit of me fawning for this guy a little bit. His name is Chandler Valdron. He is Winthrop's best player. He is the man who leads the country in triple doubles. And he's a guy that you probably don't know about, but you're going to learn about in this tournament because they're, in my opinion, Villanova is going to get upset by this Winthrop team, mm-hmm. a hot team out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. One of our undefeated teams, a team that only lost one game this entire season. And I think Baldwin's story is impactful. We learned from Duncan Robinson, one of our friends of the program, that if you're a D2 or D3 transfer and you come up to the big leagues and you become a star, we love that story. That is yep. Chandler Valdron. Chandler Valdron gets the big upset, the 5-12 game, and then moves on and uh, becomes a, a, a bracket breakout star. I'm scared. I'm almost too scared at how much I think Winthrop's going to beat. I know. Like, it it feels like it's too <laughs> obvious. <laughs> it's like, like I, I'm scared that we're going to look up and Villanova wins by 15. You're like, yeah, blows why, them out. We're out. Yeah. What why why did I think that was good again? <laughs> it's like a lock. Like you convinced me when Winthrop's the five seed and Villanova's yes. the 12, I believe yes. so much. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, that, that's a great pick. I like that one. Uh, number two for me, uh, this is a guy that, like, strangely is not a top three scorer because he's probably the most talented player on his team. 
Uh, certainly the, the best NBA prospect, a guy who, who could be a lottery pick. And, and mm. anyone who's watched him play uh, believes that and sees it and knows that. Uh, it's Kai Jones of Texas. Yep. Uh, who, who is six foot 11, is shooting like 40% from three, um, is, is so, so good when he has confidence and when he's given opportunities. Um, the, the, the issue is uh, he's kind of playing behind, so to speak. Jericho Sims and Greg Brown and they have they have seniors on tech like he, he it's a weird fit for him and this group of guys at Texas but when Shaka Smart let, says go out there and do what you do Kai mm-hmm. Jones is unbelievable uh he started over Greg Brown in the Big 12 title game so I don't know if that was just a one-off thing um it, but but Texas won so I don't you know there, there's reason to believe that he's now going to be the starter moving forward mm-hmm. um and if that's the case if he's given opportunities and he's given confidence Kai Jones is unreal he, he, he's he's every bit as good would, would you agree with that he's a lot yeah pick. i was gonna say kai jones is what i think a lot of people expect greg brown to be when they watch the texas yeah. longhorns they hear of a, a superstar lanky 610 guy and they look and they say is that greg brown and it's no yeah, it's kai it's, jones that's kai jones and, yeah. and when kai jones and jericho sims play together Texas is a better team. You just mentioned him starting, you know, in the Big 12 tournament championship game. I think that was a sign that w- w- Texas may be making the pivot towards Kai Jones being a more featured guy instead of Greg Brown. It, but the fallout there, Titus, as you and I both know, what is Greg Brown going to do? How's he going to handle that? And what does that look like for Texas? I know. So uh, th- that pick's kind of cheating because honestly, Kai <laughs> Jones, Kai J- it, it's shocking that he's not one of the top three scorers because he is Texas's best. He's their most talented player, not their best. Uh, you know, th- we, we understand that college basketball works a little differently where your best isn't necessarily the best but you know what i mean so yeah but if you're uh, a draft guy like jonathan charks who's like a big you know kai jones like every single nba draft guy koc they yeah. have kai jones in the top 15 on their draft board so you gotta watch i apologize for those of you expecting me to say guys you didn't know um but i <laughs> my criteria was not top three scores and kai jones fits so he's yeah. gotta be on the list so there you yeah, go take that haters you got it uh my number one titus uh i think this guy is gonna have a lot of messages to send and throughout the entire ncaa tournament he is a freshman He has been dubbed Lonzo Small by a friend of the program. Mm. He is a a guy by the name of Andre Curbelo for your Illinois Fighting Illini. And I think, you know, I said he was my Shabazz Napier candidate. I think he is the perfect, you know, guard to, you know, sort of take over some of the responsibilities for a guy like Io. He was going to come into this program this year expecting to be the starting point guard. Io decides to come back. He was waiting in the winds a little bit to get his opportunity. And then, you know, against Purdue in January, he comes off the bench. They're having a really bad game. He has six assists. He kind of lights, you know, a little bit of a fire underneath this Illinois offense. He, to me, is a guy that gets things going for Illinois. And I I see it in the one shining moment montage right now. It's Curbelo in the lane, jumping in the air, and then being able to find Coffee Coburn, you know, one of those little Mm -hmm. passes where he slips in for the big dunk. Uh, That is the moment. That is the man. Uh, That is my bracket buster, Andre Curbelo. That's a, that's a great pick. He, he's also the freshman. I think Adam Miller coming into the season was the guy that Illinois fans are most excited about. And Adam Miller hasn't been bad for Illinois by any stretch of the imagination. It's just mm-hmm. that Andre Corbello has been so good that I think when you think of Illinois freshmen that are exploding, your mind immediately goes to him and yes. uh, for good reason. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, he's, he's, he's awesome. That's a great pick. Number one for me, also a guy who uh, is probably the best NBA prospect on his team. But strangely, doesn't really fit in the team. Like, there's a theme to my picks with with Kai Jones and this <laughs> I like guy. It. Uh, his name is Matthew Meyer. He plays for mm. the Baylor Bears, and he he seemingly inexplicably only plays 15 minutes per game, even though he's six foot nine, two twenty, <laughs> has unlimited range, can do it all on a basketball court. Like I said, it's probably Baylor's best. No no disrespect to Jared Butler, but I think. Uh, if I'm an NBA scout, I'm, I'm looking at Matthew Meyer and like, all right, I, I like what this guy can do and, and mm-hmm. the size he has. Uh, but Baylor is so loaded at, with, at the guard position, and and they're, it's just like a, a log jam that, that Meyer struggles to get minutes for various reasons. But when he does get minutes, Tate, I mean, the guy is averaging like 15 minutes a game, and he's still averaging eight points, <laughs> shooting 42% from the three-point line. Mm-hmm. He's averaging over a steal a game, playing – well under half of each game he, he's he's a stat stuffer he gets in and he makes things happen um and anyone who watched the game at west virginia when baylor clinched the big 12 regular season title their first one in how many is 70 something years mm-hmm. uh 1950 Ma- meyer comes in and just towards down the stretch shot for shot just matching west virginia it was it was an unbelievable shooting display of uh, an unbelievable display of just the stones on the guy that he's just like rising up and 
and and uh, make a big shot after big shot. And on top of all that, if I haven't sold you enough, uh, he has a mullet <laughs> and he has a lightning bolt shaved into yes. the side of his head. So uh, I I believe that during Baylor's run, I don't know where Baylor's going to end up. I, uh, I I'm crossing my fingers they lose Ohio State in the Elite Eight, but they're good enough to win a national title. Wherever Baylor ends up going this season, at some point in time. It's going to be because Matthew Meyer went nuts down a stretch when when they needed him to, and mm -hmm. uh, teams were maybe focused on Davion Mitchell, Macy O.T., Jared Butler, and Matthew Meyer is like, you guys forgot about me. <laughs> yes, and I, I am, am on this team. I'm going to drop 18 points on your face right now. Yes, so yes. that's my number one pick. I love that pick. When you first started that, I thought you were going to say Walker Kessler, so I was getting really excited. <laughs> I was like, yes, Titus, please do it, please do it. But I like uh, that pick. That's a good do, pick. Do you have any honorable mentions? Uh, I'm going to say CJ Walker, a guy from your team. Oh, I, uh, thank you. You know, he's Kyle, Kyle guy came on our show, our selection show and said that he was going to be his guy for the tournament. I like CJ in crunch time. I like CJ being able to settle things down and be a true point guard, kind of get time and score situation all set up for your team. So I can see CJ Walker hitting a big shot, having a big moment, make, making some big free throws down the stretch, something yep. like that. So that's he's, my honorable mention. He's got a lead eight experience started as a point guard there in the lead eight game and, in huh? 2018. Dana, huh? Yeah, he yep, knows that, that well. He knows that well. Uh, I guess my honorable mention, can I stick with the Buckeyes? I want to yeah. throw uh, an honorable mention to Zed Key, uh, the mm. big man for Ohio State, uh, the, the big barrel-chested freshman who uh, is just a high-energy guy. And um, it, I, I I don't know what his role is going to look like. He, he Unlike the other three guys that were on my list, they were all, like, shot makers, I think. I think that's how their impact is going to be. Zed Key yep. is going to come in play 11 minutes and have seven rebounds and four Box fouls. Box out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> and four yeah, yeah. fouls, he's... like hack the hell out of the other big man, but also play decent defense. Uh, he's he's going to mix it up to the point that people are going to – and he's going to do his finger guns that he does. Yeah. And uh, I, I just I just picture Zed Key, like, having a moment. Maybe maybe against Baylor in the Elite Eight, Chamwa Chachua and Zed Key are just, like, <laughs> down on the block just – battling it out i don't know i don't know what it looks like but zed key is going to have a moment i think this tournament so yeah zed key is going to be a ymca legend when he's yeah. about 40 years old i mean he yeah. has got the old man game already he's a lot of fun so, uh I'll, I'll be a homer too i'll just say walker kessler legitimately my honorable mention pick if he plays titus the tar heels mm, move on That's it's hard to make say. an impact if you don't get on the court tate so <laughs> uh play walker kessler tate says all right there it is those are our bracket breakout guys book it go uh, i don't know how you put money on this stuff how do you? I don't know. I don't know how that works. But uh, if there's a way to bet on Matthew Meyer or Andre Corbello going nuts do it. in this tournament at some point, do it. That's that's our advice to you. Hey there! Thanks for watching Titus and Tate for the full friend of the program experience. Subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.